Hello, bubbly bears. Now let's focus on some reading and lightning words. Boys and girls, after assessing all of you, most of you do not know the lightning words we've covered so far. So you have work to do, okay? So now let's take a look right here. You're going to be getting this. They're going to be like on uh, for you to cut out. Parents, make sure you're watching and listening to this also. And boys and girls, there are lots of ways you can practice your lightning word. You can find them in magazines. You can make them out of Legos. You know you like to eat french fries? You can use uh, make the letter I with a the fry, then eat that I. Cake icing. Who likes cake icing? Cool Whip. That's really good. Take those Cool Whips. Uh, use your fingers if you want to. You can use a cookie and make those words and read your words. You need to practice your words. You're going to cut these out and you go through them every night before you go to bed. Have someone help you. I at is to like me it am come a and in here up. Go, see, my, you. These are not the only ones. You have plenty. We, by the end of the year, we want you to know as many as 100 lightning words. So right now, I need you to make sure you're practicing your lightning words every single day. That's your job, okay? We're using them now. Even as I'm talking, you're hearing me say those words, okay? All right, so now, this week, you're going to be reviewing your color words. Color words are important, and color words are lightning words. So right here, as we talked about Kwanzaa before, now there's some eight colorful gifts this little girl's holding up. Look at those color words. Red, orange, purple, blue, white, green, black, yellow. Get your mouse ready. Work on those words, and they should be color the right color. Look at that. Great gifts in eight different colors. Let's continue. I know a word of the day, and you is its name. Y-O-U spells you. Y-O-U spells you. Y-O-U spells you, and you is its name. Remember the lightning word you? We're going to review. You're going to color the word you. You're going to find the word you. You got to write in those missing letters. Y-N-U. What's missing? The O. Read that sentence and circle the word you. Do you like to play soccer? Then you're going to insert the missing word you. Do, there's you, like to play soccer. Down here, you're going to color those letters. U, Y, O. We know that's not how we spell the word you. You're going to color, cut them out, and when you finish, it's going to say Y, O, U. Down here, that code will also spell Y, O, U. It looks like this. Quality. The only thing I didn't do was my U, but you need to do yours. Color it and get it done. Y, O, U spells you. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. When we're reading, lightning words are everywhere also. So let's look at this story right here. What do you see? You see cookies. I see carrots too and milk. That's exactly right. Your title says a gift for Santa. We know it's almost Christmas time. A gift for Santa. So here it is. Santa is coming to Kate's house. She will put some milk and cookies on the table for Santa and carrots for the reindeer. So she's going to give Santa some food as well as the reindeer. Let's read that again. A gift for Santa. Santa is coming to Kate's house. She will put some milk and cookies on the table for Santa and carrots for the reindeer. Now you have three questions that you have to answer. It says, what is coming or who is coming to Kate's house? Is it Sam, Santa, or Sally? And we know it's Santa, so you're going to color that dot in right there. And then you're going to go and find Santa's coming to Kate's house and put a one. What is for Santa? Go back and find it. Is it milk and carrots? Is it milk and cookies? Is it milk and cake? Hmm. Three, what is for the reindeer? Candy, carrots, or cookies? The answer's right there in the story. Where is the food? It tells you everything. Then you draw a gift for Kate. What would you want Kate to have? You draw a gift for Kate. Quality. And boys and girls, you have the word is coming to, she, will, and, on, the, four. Lightning words. They're everywhere. Read those words. Read fluently. Read this two or three times. Get those questions answered. And there it is. I went back. Okay. 
there you go. Make sure you draw a picture of a gift you would like to give Kate. All right, let's continue. We're gonna do another story with lightning words in it. You can circle those lightning words in your story as well, okay? This one right here. You see a little kid, where is he? What is he trying to do? Hmm, let's read. That is Jason. He loves to play in the snow. He's making a snow angel. That is Jason. He loves to play in the snow. He's making a snow angel. Again, you got to answer those questions. That is, hmm, is it A, Jason, B, Jessica, or C, Bradley? Go through and answer those questions. Remember to underline where you found the answer, just like I did, and write the answer on the line for this one. Everybody understands that? I need you to work on your lightning words. I need you to light, your, light up every single day. It's important that you know what your lightning words are, okay? All right, and the last thing we're gonna be doing with words, these are words that are associated with Christmas. You see tree, candy, food, star. You're gonna write your name at the bottom right there, and then you're gonna write the word tree, candy, food, star. You write it more than one time. You write as many times as you can. Take a look right here. You see how I wrote it? Tree, tree, tree. Candy, candy, candy. Food, food, food. Star, star, star. And you write those words neatly. Look at that, uppercase. Okay, Y goes in the basement and then you color your pictures. So that's what we're gonna be working on. Take your time, again, practice your lightning words. You need to know these words, they're everywhere. That's why we call them lightning words.